Hi, I'm Doug Young. I'm here in my home studio for acoustic guitar. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a new direct box, uh, also known as a DI, from Radial. Radial, of course, is well known for their stage DI boxes, and with this new device, the HDI, they've created a high-end active DI intended for use in a studio. Although the HDI is built strong enough that it could also be used for live performance and has some interesting features that could lend itself to a live performance setting. Uh, the H stands for high definition, and it's a half rack box that takes up two spaces and weighs a hefty five pounds. The box goes for a street price of about $800. Uh, you know, recording an acoustic guitar with a pickup is convenient and sometimes it's necessary, but it can actually be quite challenging to make it sound good. Uh, the tools that engineers in the studio often use to tweak a pickup are saturation and compression, and the HDI offers both of those along with some other controls to help you dial in a good sound in the studio. So let's take a look. Here's the HDI. Uh, it's basically got just three controls and three switches that affect the sound. The level control sets the input volume, plays a big role in how the other controls behave. The control you'll probably spend the most time with is the color control uh, that's in the middle. The color control, um, well, essentially the HDI has two signal paths. One is clean, and the other one uses both tube and transformer saturation, which can add warmth and complexity to your sound as long as it's not overdone. The color control acts like a balance between the clean sound and the color sound. So let's check it out. Here's completely clean. I'm going to turn the control, color control completely uh, counterclockwise, and I think I'll just uh, strum a few things with a pick. So that's clean. Now let's turn the color control all the way up. You can hear a hint of distortion there. I mean, I'm going for an extreme. And if, in fact, if I crank the level control all the way up and drive that color channel hotter, we can get a rock style crunch. So we've got anywhere from ultra clean to pretty dirty. And of course, a lot of good sounds in more middle territory. Now there's other controls that are useful here. The presence control uh, basically adds high end. The switches also play a role in the sound and the radial HDI offers uh, two impedance settings, 200K and two meg. I'm using a passive under saddle pickup which is sensitive to input impedance and I'll get a thinner sound with some rolled off bass if I use the low impedance setting. Let's switch it to low. And a warmer sound in the high impedance setting. Let's just hear that bass. There's also an optical compressor. It has three settings, off, plus two, two different thresholds, and that works together with the level control. There's also a, a high-pass filter with two different frequency cutoffs that can clean up some of the low mud in a guitar if you need that. Um, so a lot of options here. The HDI is actually very simple to operate, but there are a lot of interactions between the controls, as hopefully you've already seen. So a lot depends on your playing style, the level of your guitar, and what, what you're going for as far as sound. Uh, I'm gonna go for just sort of a medium setting, a, a little towards the clean side, but with still some color, uh, a optical compressor on just a little bit, just a touch of presence to brighten things up. And uh, this would be suitable for me, at least, for some finger style. Now the back panel, in addition, has line outputs and mic level XLR inputs. You can use them both at the same time. And there are two quarter inch outputs, one on the back that carries the process sound and one on the front that is a through output. In other words, unprocessed, it's just your raw pickup the same way it came into the device. So you have a lot of flexibility to route signals to multiple places and blend those sounds. Uh, so to wrap this up, let me show you a, a little recording experiment that I did. It's just a very simple test to try to check out the range of sounds I could get out of the HDI. Uh, what I did was started with a virtual drummer track here, but then I recorded everything else through the HDI, a bass and three guitar tracks using the same guitar, but using the HDI to get different colors and different sounds for each of the tracks so that it didn't just sound like I was layering the same guitar over top. Let's take a look.
So that's the Radial HDI. It's a very interesting tool for anybody who wants to record your guitar or, or other instruments for that matter uh, directly using a pickup or direct line out. Thanks for watching.